Hey YouTube, so this is a walkthrough of my automatic chicken coop door. Um, so this uses automotive parts running at 12 volts to open and close this little gate here. And it works off the sun, so there's a photo sensor here connected to this automotive part which is designed to turn your headlights on and off. And if we can simulate night by covering this up here. And the door shuts and opens. So uh, this has got a relay in it which controls the control voltage to this which is an antenna that makes your, uh, your car antenna go up and down, so also 12 volts. And uh, yeah, it's really simple. They're just, just wired together. And this is a power supply from uh, Nintendo Wii. Outputs about four amps. I didn't know how much I would need, but four amps seems like plenty. And uh, this sliding mechanism here is from a, is from a uh, this sliding rail is from a keyboard pullout tray. But uh, you could probably use anything or make your own. Even um, if you wanted to just make slots to hold a piece of plywood as it slid up and down, that would probably work just fine. Uh, one problem I had is that this antenna likes to send out the antenna a lot further than just the just the foot of throw I've built here. And I built this before the antenna thing came, so uh, maybe I would have made it differently. But to solve that problem, uh, instead of using this little internal limit switch, which is really China and just really bad, um, I got these little, these are like 3D printer limit switches. And um, as you can see here, I'll do it again. But that's the, that's the, I've gone up enough switch. And then over here, we've got the, the down switch. And once we go all the way down, open, and the motor stops. If they fail, the motor will probably go forever and burn out. So that's bad. Um, if, you could, if you wanted to do things more simply, you could just just build something that actually matches the throw of this antenna. Uh, maybe something with that just slides further um, and you wouldn't have to have all that complexity with the switches, but that's, that's what I ended up having to do. And uh, yeah, that's about the long and short of it. This little guy is gonna go outside through this vent here. And uh, yeah, so total cost. I think around $60, $65. Uh, this part, you can have this on eBay for 25 bucks. This is $10 on Amazon, probably even cheaper if you want to go the China route. Um, power supply was eight bucks at Goodwill, but I think really any sufficient 12 volt supply will do it. Probably even use a computer power supply if you wanted to do that. Get one of those at the dump. So yeah, this compared to the three and $400 solutions that people are selling online, this is just way less expensive. Um, it should adjust itself depending on the time of year. So this gets rid of all your timer problems or, uh, you know, our, you know, you don't have to mess with an Arduino or write C code or anything. So it's uh, a lot more simple. I'll show you. I'll show you how it looks from the outside too. All right. Goddamn thing. There we go. So I'm just going to cover up the sensor. There we go, safe chickens.